Hey everyone. Now on to the second episode of Voltron Legendary Defenders 5th Season, Blood Duel. Following directly after the premiere, it's revealed that Zarkon and Lotor's former generals have Commander Holt in their custody. So the Galra leader proposes in exchange, Holt for Lotor. And it soon leads into that after they, the Paladins discuss a likely Galra trap, still wondering about Lotor's possible usefulness, but they eventually agree to a rendezvous point on a distant planet's surface while keeping both the Castle of Lions and the Galra fleet out of range. So Zarkon and the generals let Commander Hulk go, and Shiro, Pidge, and Matt escort Lotor away. Expectedly, things don't go in the hero's favor, and soon some fights commence. And pretty impressive ones at that. Lotor versus his own father, while on the planet's surface, Shiro, Pidge, and Matt versus the generals in their departing shuttle. And a little, like, important but sort of background action for the other paladins versus the Galra fleet. <clears throat> so again, there's not a lot of big events, twists and turns, but still an impressive episode. Actually providing quite a turning point for the series as it's progressed. It's still impressive action, especially between Lotor and Zarkon. Memory serves since Zarkon's recovery, we haven't seen him fight on actually on his own until this episode. Back in this new armor that he wields. But that was very impressive to see. A very, very little comedy. A couple of little lighter moments on the shuttle fight. But still quite serious. If there's one little complaint I've got, it's in the structure of the episode. It begins with them on the planet's surface, ready for the exchange, and then provide through flashbacks very early on to them having the rest of their conversation with Zarkon, with them weighing their options in handing over Lotor. I feel like that, that could have just been shown linearly have the exchange be start off I don't know, three, five minutes into the actual episode but it didn't seriously detract from anything, it was just an odd choice in my opinion so yeah, this one's Going kind of short among these vlogs, but it's kind of a bottle episode, I guess. Sort of just based around one setting. But it provides quite a turning point. 
some impressive developments when it comes to both sides of this conflict. Also, there's another mention of Project Koron, as that's maybe pronounced. Still very unsure of what that is, especially since it's been mentioned very little so far, but I think we'll start to get answers pretty soon in this season. Along with the fallout of how this episode's action scenes went. So, with that, I'll see you in episode 40.